This is the Earthbound chronology in three minutes. It covers Mother 1, 2, and 3. Let's begin. Thousands of years ago, a great dragon lives with humanity in harmony. As mankind evolves and advances, the bond with the dragon weakens, so a group of magic gypsies learn the power of PSI and use it to put the dragon to sleep underneath what becomes the Nowhere Islands. The sleeping dragon hides the island itself from the Earth, protecting it in a dimensional realm for eternity. Meanwhile, the Earth progresses much like our own. But far away in space, an alliance of aliens learn to wield PSI and gain psionic powers and mind-controlling abilities. They sweep the galaxy conquering worlds, but then for some unknown reason they lose the power of PSI, perhaps because they lacked love to balance the energies. In the early 1900s, they begin abducting Earth humans to raise their alien children and love. One of these couples, Maria, and her husband who's a scientist, George, raise Gygus as their own child. The loving relationship fosters fresh PSI energies in Gygus. George, however, studies their PSI in secret and steals their alien research into PSI and escapes to Earth to hide. Angry and afraid of what humanity could become with psionic energy, the aliens promise to conquer Earth while George has another kid with another woman. Eighty years later, the alien army arrives, led by Gygus, who has now matured in the fullness of PSI power. On Earth, Gygus's powers begin to animate objects and possess wild animals and berserk humans. George's brave son is too busy to save the world, so he sends his 12-year-old son, Ninton, to investigate the phenomenon. The spirit of Gygus's dead mother, Maria, contacts the boy and tells him the only way to defeat Gygus is to remind him of her by singing her lullaby. Gygus lands his ship on Earth to challenge Ninton and his crew of PSI warriors, who begins to sing the lullaby as Gygus lands blow after blow after blow and eventually breaking down, unable to bear the pain of the memories induced by the melody, so he retreats. Gygus continues to conquer other worlds and grow in everlasting power until his own physical body can no longer contain his own power. Disembodied, he becomes the incarnation of raw chaos, evil, and madness, the universal cosmic destroyer. By the late 2000s, his power extends and dominates all life and existence in the galaxy, except for a very few yet powerful beings still fighting him in a hopeless battle. Gygus steals the Apple of Enlightenment machine, which prophesies that he will be stopped by a boy named Ness, which is actually Ninton's son. Gygus travels 10 years back to the year 1990X to once again attack Earth in order to kill Ness while he's still young. But one of those small insurgents hitched a ride through time and in time to warn Ness of his destiny. He tells Ness that the only hope is to unite the powers within the Earth itself to protect it from Gygus. Meanwhile, Gygus chooses and empowers Ness's neighbor, Porky, and ordains him as his conduit to defeat Ness. Ness and his team travels the Earth uniting the world's sanctuaries. With this power, they enlist a scientist to help them travel to the beginning of time to stop Gygus, but but Porky steals their time machine for himself, so another is made, and then they send their souls back in time to fight Porky and Gygus. Porky immediately runs away using his time machine, but Gygus attacks, and so they prayed, and the whole Earth prayed, and the united raw emotion of the Earth through prayer vanished Gygus from existence. Victorious, Ness and his party return to the Earth, while Porky travels desperately through space and time trying to get back home. And that's Earthbound in three minutes. We didn't really get to finish the Porky story because we only have three minutes. But he basically ends up in the Nowhere Islands and gets trapped at the end of time, at the end of the world. He tries to wake up the dragon and the people stop him, and he ends up getting trapped inside a capsule for the rest of eternity. <laughs>